I do remember that was something I think it was Brian Johnson was taking orally. Was that orally or was it injected? <laughs> no, rapamycin is almost all of the time an oral drug. You know, we use it in the longevity field. It's, it's a senolytic, it's an immunosuppressant. In the longevity field, that's something that we use a lot. You know, it promotes autophagy, cellular cleanup, you know, it can potentially improve the longevity of the stem cells and the follicles. It has been shown in some studies to reverse skin aging and potentially stimulate follicle cycling. In animal models, I don't think that's really been proven out in human studies so far. Rapamycin is, you know, one of these topics that is widely discussed for many years now. Is it useful as a longevity agent? You know, if you can tolerate it without any side effects, I've taken it for five, six years at this point. I've put a lot of my patients on it, an oral tablet once a week. As a topical, okay, rapamycin in these kind of lower concentrations, we use for the skin. And I do feel like that helps. Can we use it for the hair as well? Yes, I think you can. Thank you.